Hey, buddy, what's going on? Oh, don't step on my mouse. You might make the computer start. The video might start without me knowing it. I don't want it to start, all right? You know, you know anything about hemp? I don't know too much, but apparently they can grow enough hemp, right, in one field, okay, compared to a whole lot of trees that would take 20 years, they do it in a year. You know what this is? This, okay, is almost like Monsanto genes. This is a gene enhancer, okay? It's a gene enhancer, okay? What I call it, it's the pineal gland enhancer. It enhances the pineal gland. Therefore, I'm genetically changing who I am. And how come every time I change who I am, I always feel like a little weird in between the change. Not only that, not that I only feel weird, right? I feel like I'm a little high. Almost like the way you're supposed to feel in the world when the pineal gland, pineal gland lifts on its own. How come our pineal glands cannot lift on their own? My friends, the gland is a penis. It lifts. It's like a cone, you know, the pine tree. Something tells me whatever to do with pine trees, even if it doesn't taste any good, figure out what it is about the pine tree. There's a lot of pine trees, my friends, and there's a chance we can do something with the needles. Yes, because needle is a bending of. The knee, your knee, you bend of to go lower down. Needle, needle, dull, dull. It could be a doll, it could be a duel, it could be a duel, it could be a duel between two needles, a tree. The needle bends, okay, it flexes. There's something in there, a natural element, good for something. You see, I use it as cough syrup, but I'm quite sure there's something else. But let's get back to the pineal gland. Now, what you saw me smoking there is up to you what you want to think it might be. Um, if you think it's marijuana, fine. If you think it's cocaine, I don't think so. Uh, if it's heroin, I don't think so. Uh, but it's all up to you because it's just a bunch of tobacco rolled up in a, in a, in a, in in my favorite brand. My favorite brand. I always like to roll up a couple of cigarettes for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I, uh, you know, cigarette packs. You know, like Viceroy. So I like. I roll them up and I puff a couple. I like the ones I roll. I pretend I'm smoking a joint, you know. Just get a little high. Get a little high. Get a little low. Get a little on. Get a little glow. And get a little giddy up and go. Let's put on the show, my friends. Genetically changed foods. Now, the way I see it, who am I? I see is I. It's it. He says, it, it is I, just a marble. The way I see it is like this. You can genetically do anything you want, but when the machines could advance um, on their growth of some sort in an unnatural, universal way, uh, you are then foreseen in an universal way everything else that goes on in your body. Let me explain to you something, okay? Let me explain to you something. DNA strands. Have you ever looked at it? You ever see it on a computer, the way it goes? Do you ever really look the way they show it to you, all pieced and broken up? That's the way we are. If you take our skin off, most of the stuff will just fly all over the place. We're bandaged up and our, we're tied down in here. And, and obviously, listen to this, people slit their wrists. Why the wrist? Risk. It's a risk, the wrist, the wrist, the wrist, a risk, wrist, wrist, ristun. Ristun means to come back. It's, uh, you're getting a little kickback on something. So if you're getting kicked back, maybe you're getting kicked from one place to another place. R-I-S, laugh, S-I-T, sit, risk. Okay, well, let's do a letter count of it. Nine, nine. One nine, one one, one one, one nine, one one one. Holy crap! 
you're hitting all the stuff, the stuff in there. I don't know why, but there's a lot of tendons out here. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of business. We're down here basically for this. If God wanted to send us down here just to work like this, we wouldn't have any fingers and any tendons. And if you slit your wrist, it wouldn't be bad because it wouldn't matter what you pushed it with. Oh, don't you worry. God did a good thing. So then again, get back to chemically and genetically and however you want to spray it on down. First of all, you can't own something once you sell something. Well, it all depends. If you buy a record, you're not allowed to remake that record. Well, Monsanto's wants the same thing. It's their seed, and uh, we're gonna, we should be selling the seeds for um, 2,000 a ton, and we're only selling the t seeds for 1,000 because we want you to use our seeds. Okay, and there are seeds. So if the year after you decide not to use their seeds and plant your field with something else, and they find the dust, the DNA, on your land and in your corn or whatever it is, they're going to sue you for your whole crop. And then you have to sue them for waste particles that come from genetically changed corn. Do they know it's genetically changed. You understand what I'm saying? Was it that they knew it was genetically changed? Whatever it is, Monsanto's doesn't understand something. At a certain point, over a hundred years, most people go broke. Okay, They go broke because they cheat, lie, and they steal. Or you end up in jail. So it doesn't matter where they go eventually, whoever these people are, <laughs> you end up in jail. Look what happened to um, um, Scarface, Al Pacino. He couldn't stop doing that cocaine. It was free, my friends. He didn't have to pay. He didn't have to bring $100 with him, do a couple of lines, you know, sniff it up. It was free. When it gets too easy, um, you know what? Eventually, you cannot live that stress pattern of life always keeping on top of things. You have to be a superior, strong being to stay on top of things for your entire life. But there's a difference because they have to think how to beat the good. And the good don't have to think about anything about how to be good. But when the bad interferes with the good, now the good have to worry and they have less. The good never prepared to go to war with anybody. It's only the bad to go to war. The bad spent the money. And the bad who made the stuff, because the people who make stuff for war are also bad, because war is bad. It doesn't matter. War is bad. If there's a problem something somewhere, it's not a war you want. You go in. Okay, you don't take special tactics in six months. No, you take six months, you check it out on paper. If it's not feasible, leave it alone. You move on in, you attack the air, you close it down, you lock it up, you put it in a lockdown. Now, it's not for you to choose what the restructuring is, but you have to give them all the elements. What is better? What kind of state for this area is better for the people? Who can we trust? But you can't let somebody else come in and, and roll over and take over your state. It's not right, because don't forget, one person comes into the hotel and stays one day. The next person comes in and stays three days. The next person comes in seven days. Next one, ten days. Eventually, the whole hotel is full. But no one ever stood really more than ten days at a time. It's the same thing, my friends. The hotel, she fills up. Maybe it'll happen in our lifetime that it will affect us. But in two, three hundred years, um, hopefully we get to see the movie in heaven. They're going to show this whole movie over again. We get to watch all the parts if we want. And we're going to see them go into jail. And you know what we get to do? Because everything is streamed from heaven and we already know what's happening to them. We can enter their dreams and haunt them like they should have never did it to start with. Take something away from someone who has nothing and nothing to lose. He knows he's going to, you see, sometimes you say, well, I'm going to save it till the end. I'll protect my wife, children, and daughter. But sometimes, you know what? He has to become the warrior. The man must become the warrior of the house. And the woman should be the household stipulant, meaning the one who directs whatever goes on in the house. Because we have a job to get done, my friends. We're safe. We're not safe. 
When it comes the time upon the frame, in which in a chapter I will not refrain from telling you chapter number 93, which I've never done before. In chapter number 93, they have taken the sprays to the skies. They have seen a few meteors come on by, and they know it's close because they can see it. Next month, the month after, will it fall in the Mayan time? Well, you know what? I made a prediction for uh, like March. I made a mistake. I think I once said February. Or did I say January? Could have been December or was it April? Hold on a second. No, no, no. It was June. No, May. 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 Oh, no, no. It was October, November, September. September. It was no, no, no. It was December. Yes, December. Yes. Just like the man said. That's what I said, right? I, I like, was it November? Or, like, there's going to be something happening, you know. Something's happening. You know what the problem is? It ain't happening to you yet. But just like the video or disc or song you are going to listen to, it has already been sung. So whatever is coming towards us, you will not know until it's here. But it's already here. It's just you don't know. You're not aware. Well, some are not aware and some don't care. That's fine. Fine and dandy. Dandy is a deedy good deed, no? Dan and goody deedy dandy. Oh, that's pretty weird. What kind of language is that? I'm sending the messages to the gods. Right now, as I do this video cassette sitting here, right here, right now. Well, you're not anywhere right now that I actually know, but I don't actually know actually watches my videos. But right here now, we come from a galactic star in a far away galaxy. It would take most of you years to get there. In fact, almost 600,000 years to get there. That is the distance between the electronic board. Okay, the distance is only 200,000. But to the gates of the seventh pass of the E-World Pass 7557 October 4th, 2014. She is open and ready to rock. The sky comes towards us as this global sphere moves throughout the sky, guided by something that we don't even see. But I can tell you one thing. I can almost feel it, that there's some kind of electronic um, power source that penetrates between the Arctic Circle and the complete the underneath somewhere down the Antarctica. And it like it's like we're almost on a train of some sort. Choo choo! You know, Monopoly had four trains, don't forget. Right? What were the angles of those trains? Short lines. Because all the lines are short. I mean, I'm so mixed up now because I don't know which way to go when I saw somebody that was doing something in very similarities to me. He was doing something about a fan. But anyways, he was good. Whoever it was, I don't remember. I wish he can get in touch with me. This is Mr. Tagpans, if you don't know who I am. Right here. I'm over here. Here? Hello? Hello? I'm in the back of the... Come on. You don't see me? Wow. I knew it. The invisible... It worked. I made an invisible shadow. Wow. Ha, it's funny, guys. You can't even see me, but you can hear me talking. Well, it's almost like I moved out of the picture, isn't it? I mean, tell me now. I want to know. Can you see me or you can't? Wait a second before you start. Honestly. Okay. If you can see me, press like. And if you can't see me, write me a picture and tell me I'm hiding. Is that a deal? What? Oh, first lady wants to make a deal. She says, I don't make deals with the devil. I go, what? I go, you're right. I am your worst enemy. I am everybody's worst enemy. You know why? Because I say whatever I think as long as it is legal. Because you have to follow the system. Because let me tell you one thing. I'm 100% for the system. On legality. The legality that was put upon us based on, but no, connected to, but based on Hashem's world. The United World of Nations of the Galactic Universe. 
the freedom station of super train indian number nine i wanna go home telescopic views from every angle from every star upon the sky has a camera it's its only one eye and it sees us and it sees you see you later alligator why do they say see you later alligator do you know what it means do you know what it means see you later alligator don't you know electrical you take out two wires, okay, with a clip on it. And the clip is called an alligator clip. It's the same clip, okay, that you clip on to your, to your hash joint or your pot joint. That's the electrical clip. Okay. See you later, alligator, because when this life is over, they come to the clip, they take off the two clips, and then what happens? They clip them back again and, hey, I'm alive. Woo, baby, I'm alive. Holy fuck, where am I? It's got walls. Holy shit. I'm inside, but there ain't no roof. Hold on a second. Did I say roof? Oh. I see dogs in the sky. Roof. Dogs in the sky. Wait a second. Oh, no. I'm looking down. I'm still looking down. There ain't no floor. So how come I'm still up here? Hold it. I have an incoming call. Where's my cell phone? Oh, oh my God. I'm receiving. Welcome to the heavens of Hashem, Universal United Uno Dos Tres. Bienvenido. Welcome, my angel friend. You have made it to the spectrum. In the bottom of the chalice on our way up towards the heaven, we must reflect inside the world we came because once we know the joy of where we are right now the joy of certain things that went on just leaving that world will seize inside of you forever and you're going to want to look back and then all of a sudden boom 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 you go, what's that he says oh he says the bubble burst he says what does that mean he says well the people were looking at themselves they died and they're on the way up in the chalice, they're looking at themselves of their life, and all of a sudden, a lot of bad things they did, and they knew the truth. And then they were asked questions. And when the question period of chakra was over, they were judged. And the bubble burst, and they got, well, they're just going to be reborn again on Earth again, maybe in a year or so, very, very soon, as long as that genetically chemical injected seed of God falls to earth. You are born again. Holy shit. What the fuck? And you remember both lives after. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You know what? Imagine you live eight or nine times. Sixty year average. Nine times six. Six hundred years. Okay? They said Moses and all these guys live six, seven, eight hundred years. Right? How do we know they're not alive today? They don't know who they are. That would be cheating. They'd know the past. Holy shit, what if somebody came from the future? He'd know everything about the past. Wouldn't know too much about the present, but he'd be okay in the future. But when he gets to his future, he's in his present. So his future and my future are completely different. You see, when my future hits my angel's future, I'm no longer in my future anymore. I'm in the angle future of the heaven saints. ST, stop, saint. ST, best, saint. S-T-A-R-T, -T, start, saint. But don't go down a one-way street because S-T-E is a saint for a female. Okay? Street ends in E-T, extraterrestrial female street s-t-r-e-e-t 
4114. And if you take a look um, um, at Sesame Street, take a look at one of the signs on Sesame Street. Look, look up Sesame Street 4114. Just look at that sign, okay? And the yellow bird is Christ. And I know he's all dorky there, but Christ doesn't always look the same. What do you want to do? Um, so if you notice that, so street says extra terrestrial, ter extra terrestrial, penial. Isn't that funny? It's extra terrestrial. And then I say to myself, the penial gland, extra terrestrial, penial gland. Holy fuck, we're connected. Holy Christ. Hold on a second, I have to look at my screen. Ooh! It's an alien! And in the book it says he comes from Sesame Street. Let me see what street he was on. Wow. 4114 Mediterranean Avenue in the End Pass. Well, do you know why it's an end pass? Because it's the Delta Angel. The E, okay, is the five. Okay, it's the export passage of God. It's the first E. It's counted in God's world. It's God's first passage gate. Okay, passage gate five is the first and seven. Okay, gates. And what I'm trying to say is that, you see, gates is that, um, A, B, C, D, and then when you have A, B, C, D, you see the way they do it is they actually do it in a square because all you have is A, B, C, D. But once you break after the A, B, C, D, okay, you automatically have that five. No, because the five, okay, the five, okay, hold on a second, let me mark this, because the five will equal the total of what's in the four squares of A, B, C, D. It's just like in the tic-tac-toe board or the, um, the computer uh, pound key. Uh, there's nine, but it expresses 10 because 10 is the answer. You can go to 10. In fact, you can go higher than that, but we're counting single digits. Oh, there's so much to write here. Single, single digit. Uh, levels. Uh, there's, you see, A, B, C, D, and then E, F, G. So you put it, and then you have to repeat, okay, you have to repeat, okay, the alphabet all the way up to, um, I think it's 100 or 99 or something. You have to repeat the whole alphabet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, and and shit like that. So um, yes, yeah, so anyway, so now you have the the five passage. And so that is actually God's gate, because it's an I, I believe it might be um, one gate on the inside, one gate on the outside, but no spirit connect inside the bodies. Your DNA, it just floats in there, and you're connected to the entire system. We're connected that way, but we're connected through... <laughs> we're not real. Hello. Oh, my God. You think you're real. We're real good in pain. We're real good in fame. We feel shitty in sadness, and they gave us a name. Had only your mother and father to blame. Put you in a house. Just call it a game. Christ is a power. Christ is an energy. Christ is the cross. That connects 2468. But the thing about connecting 2468, okay, is the way I see we connect 2468 is that 8 and 0 is what I call ground zero. Because the eight is the bottom of the telephone, and right before the eight is the zero, and that's where the egg of departure is. It's almost like this, okay? You have a square box with a, with a, with a jack-in-the-box in it, and you put your hand over the box at eight inches high, and there's nothing there. Two minutes later, she turns the handle up. You put your hand over the box at eight inches, and there's something in the way. So what am I trying to say by that? Um, wow, I wish I can explain that. 
Yeah, the 80, right. So the 80 and the zero. What I'm trying to say is the bottom of the cross is in the ground, okay? The ground is the soul spirit beta. That's the two spirit. That's what I believe. I believe the bottom of our feet, the souls that are very important, and the toes, potatoes, tomatoes, anything to do with toes, you always got to reflect it. You want to do something, you want to be not cheated. I might forget what I just said, but that's okay. You want to be not cheated in life, I help you out. Very simple. Learn about how it works in nature. And if you could, try and figure out who's not cheating you, but look at the universe. Everything that happens out there will happen or is happening where we are right now. We are the P of the universe, of this part of the universe. We are the P. We are what grew out of this ground. This is what Hashem chose. This is his house. We are the P. It's all about us. Listen, when you open up a store, right? You put a manager in, you, that manager is all about that store. So, hey, first manager comes down the street, couldn't find one guy. Then I see a little guy in the street, beard. Didn't know if I wanted to hire him as a manager. Hey, son, can you take care of a store? Guy looks over, looks a little bit drunk. You know what I'm saying? Looks a little bit drunk and um, looks at me and says, my friend, he says, my father says what I have always thought. What was the question? So he asks a question. I have a store, he starts to explain. Can you take care of my store? And he proclaims and says, I, the Christ, shall not only take over your store, but I shall restore all of humanity. And a guy goes, what? Who are you? What do you talk like that? You can't take, I want for one store. And Christ turns around and he says, says my friend, he says, your store goes up, the one down the street goes down. The other one goes up, the other one goes down. He says, there are no stores. He says, you're here for a period, you're going to be gone. The cycle, the manipulation of this, of the uh, um, inflationary, evolutionary, canary, insanity. I mean, that's what it's done. I mean, there, there, there's got to be a system. You know what I'm saying? There's got to be a system. I mean, didn't they come up with the quota system for chickens, the quota for the egg milk or the eggs in the milk? And in Canada, it seems to work. Does it work? Does it work? I know they're all making good money. Well, whatever good to them is. But for me, for what I see they have to do, they're doing good, pretty good. So the cattle farmers, I mean, holy Christ, I just bought a piece of cheese and I'm dying for a piece of cheese. You want to see I bought a piece of cheese was on, on special. Holy fuck. What's on special? What's so special about a piece of cheese? It's on the special. Why don't you just say reduced price? You know what I'm saying? What's so special? If you reduce the price, and, and when you reduce the price, they put the cheese down 22 cents a kilo. 22 cents a kilo. Are you insane? Two pounds. Holy crap. Look at they charge me. 332. That was a bargain. It was too big for one submarine sandwich. Okay. Um, so I made uh, a summer sandwich and a half. Anyways, uh, there is one thing I want to show you. Where is it? This. You see, what happens okay, is two over here, number two on your phone, goes to one, which would be over here. One, therefore, goes to five over here, okay? Now, what I want to tell you is, you see, nine goes to five, okay? Now, the months of the year, 30 days as September, April, June, and November, right? They include November inside the 2468. So that means, okay, the 9 and the 5, which makes the queen, this is the passage, 
It has to go from 9 to 5. The 9 and the 5 have to be connected together. Therefore, the 5 is the month of May, 31 days. And that's why this, this one and this one, September and May, connect together. And then from here, okay, number 9, okay, which it shows over here, from 5 to 9 from birth, okay, to 5 to past 8. 8 is over here, okay. What happens, it comes from here, beta world, over here, up to here. And now he's manned 6 over here. That would be about, this would be about 4.30 in the afternoon. 140, 90 and 40, 135 degrees. 5, 3, this is 135 degrees. One spirit, three creation, the five entrance. 5, 3, 1, 9. This is also creator of the letter Q, and there's only one dot in there. Okay. <laughs> there's only one dot, that means it's a male. <laughs> I got to check that one over. I hope I'm not wrong. Oh my God. Could it be a five dot? Because it's the five number, five dots should go in there, right? Because you know what has to happen? Um, what? You want me to stop? Okay, I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? So let's get on with the world. Let's get on with the world. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, I just watched a video that said, well, it didn't say anything. I was listening to the story. The story was talking, and what I heard is what it said. So um, they said, we have enough food in the world right now uh, to pay to uh, pay for all the starving people. He says, they just throw it out and waste it and do all kinds of crazy things to it. And um, it's hard to save the world when uh, the strength uh, on the fall, you're, I mean, you're going down a mountain and at the bottom is a bottomless pit. And you got no arms and you got no legs and you're curled up in a ball and you're not in a barrel. So, crazy world out there, my friends. You got to eat. Try and stay away from Monsanto's. Stay away from all those crazy labels. Try and shop a little bit different. But you know what? Some of that food really costs nothing. So, But they give you nothing anyways in it. Take care, my friends, Raphael, Mr. Tackbans. I hope we had a good uh, deal going here. Oh, let me show you one thing I'm working on. I, there's, it never stops. I'm working on the Roman numerals, right? How many you can get in a row? Like three X's is the most. After three X's, it falls to a C. Uh, three X's in a row, then it falls to an LX. And there's a V1 and a 1V. But it can't be more than 1-1 one, one this way. But it can be three here, but here it can only be one. Here you can put three ones. Here you can only put one one. V minus one is four. V plus one is six, okay? But you know, with the other one, okay, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to show you. If you're not going to look, I'm going to show. I'm going to put on the camera, and if you look at the camera, okay, you can do this to this one. But... You can't put two of them here because then you would just put three on this side. But you can do this. So right away, this is the five angle of the one spirit of the five angle of the three creation. Five and three is eight. One, one, and one. Why one, one, and one? One A, one B, and one C. God has split himself up just like they did with Moses back then on the Ten Commandments. There is a God. There is a God. And he has a fine plan. His plan is to teach us. The problem is we didn't come into this world to understand what it means to teach us. But if you really look at some religious sects, the way they pray, they understand. He's trying to teach us and they're saying, okay, okay, we really don't, we don't forget, we don't forget, we're never going to forget you, you're in our head because you're teaching us. We have to understand what goes on because you're teaching us. So we have to do good because we understand that you're teaching us because you're the father and you know. So what is he going to come here, give you everything? But, okay guys, let's, let's see, we'll take away war and everything else, we'll make it a beautiful world and what the fuck, why would we have to go to heaven? Anyways, you know the word WTF? It actually means Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The last, you see, the first three days of the week, right? 
on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Okay, oh, sorry, I meant Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And the last part of the week is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. Okay, first of all, the letter T is used twice, 2040. You have TW or WT, what? WT together goes what, what? See, when you go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's like, what, what? Now, if you take the letter T and you go into the Greek language, it would be saying, a miracle, too early, too late. If you understand what I mean. Uh, because to is the 19th letter in the Greek alphabet. Alphabet. And to equals attacks. Or um, early, early, or late. Okay, so what I did now is, all I did is take the word toe, Taurus, Taurus the bull. Toe, or toe, it could mean a toe on your foot, right? Also toe, okay, or missile, toe, again, communication between space and the earth. Your toe on the earth, the missile in the air, missile toe. Okay, don't miss that one. Toe is almost like a chat, a charge or a tax. It's in French. Okay, and it also can mean toe tar early or late. So now, if I go to Tuesday, Wednesday, what Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, using the two T's, I would go early or late miracles because um, um, it's because miracles is because in Spanish uh, it's miracles for Wednesday. And uh, since day one, um, it's, it's a miracle for me. And that's the way I'm always going to go with that day. Uh, then again, you have Saturday and Sunday, and they're the same, right? So this is the way the week works, in a way. There's many ways to do this. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, okay, 13th letter and 20th, total 33, command and create of Christ. Now, how perfect can that be? I'm going to do this in the, ne in the next video. Combination days. I mean, because all my stuff, I mean, in my own head, I really want someone to listen to me, please. I had 35 hits this week. 35 hits? Yeah. Did she hit you hard or did she hit you soft? Very funny. Okay, so um, what happens is uh, I'm all mixed up. Yeah, so um, uh, yeah, uh, oh God, there's so much stuff. Let's not stop, my friends. There will be a day. I don't know if you've ever seen. If, go rent a movie where the people are struggling and see what they have to do. Watch what happened in the Harlem streets. Check how they changed the Harlem streets. Because how it came to be, it can go back to the way it was. I'm not talking about Harlem. I'm just talking in general. You know what I'm saying? We're caged in. Everybody's trying to make a buck. They cage you in all over. The closer they keep it to you and the cheaper it costs, the better it is. So when it starts going away and manufactured somewhere else, so somebody can save money, but nobody else does, and everybody loses jobs, and we suffer for it. And then the government suffers for it. But you know what? I don't think the government's really, really cared at all. You know what I think? I think for the last 20 or 30 years, they all knew about 2012 coming. And they know about the underworld, how it works. So I think their biggest thing right now is to take over the world. That that's I think that's been in the mark for a lo the longest period of time. I, I don't think any and you know what? I don't see any news about it. I don't watch any TV. But you know what? I highly, highly uh, conspiracy things, uh, anonymous, um, um, guys, um, Aldous Huxley, John F. Kennedy, John Lennon. I want to tell you something about backstops. You don't think we have a backup? We were just placed with one of the biggest hearts in heaven. The number eight heaven, my friends, has been come and come upon us. A backstop has been put up. There is going to be a stop, and there is going to be an energy, because we have the gates of creation. G C. Seven and three makes a ten. The backstop 
We therefore, who's pitching and who's catching? Gary Carter, backstop to Christ Energy, House of Hashima Whites. U.S. political situation heightens in Syria. Israel now feeling bloated by all those Russian boats. China now puts to the sea. And all of a sudden, like a blinding flash of light, a big boom. And nobody knows what happened, and everybody's disabled. Gary Carter is standing there ready to catch that ball. Because if they come and lift us off this earth, somebody's got to be there to catch that ball. Gary Carter is GC. Gary Carter, the gates of creation. He is also number eight. He did play for me. He played for me. And he played for me, you too. Why? Qatar. Ka, C-A, Canadian, tear, earth. Canadian earth, played for the earth. But the reason he really played for me is because he was an ex-po. Ex-po. That's part of God. I mean, everybody knows God created the ex-man, and they gave him the team with the ex-po. Do you know what it means? It's like a little uh, bit of money. A uh, po is um, like a little, let's say, something to put something in, to pee in, let's say. Anyways, we'll drop it at that. I, had, I fooled around a little bit too much. You can adopt my tape and cut it up the way you like, you like it. I don't care. Just don't let me say anything that I didn't. I think these are Monsanto's because they're good. <laughs>